Hello again. Well, today I'm going to show you um, a simple science experiment we used in our junior high school class last week. Um, we've been looking at tenses, um, past tense and present tense and future tenses, um, and I wanted the students to get a grasp um, of the ideas behind it. At school they tend to learn one tense, um, but don't tend to see them related to each other. So, step forward, this very simple science experiment. Um, first, we introduce the vocabulary. And we have a jug. And it's a jug with actually water inside. And we also have... No introduction. A pencil. Or pencils. And a simple polythene bag or Ziploc. I also have stacked up behind the water jug my selection of dictionaries. And to keep my pencil sharp, I have a pencil sharpener. Okay, that's the vocabulary. Now, what am I going to do? I asked the students. Um, I have a polythene bag, I have a jug of water, and I also have a pencil, um, and a very sharp pencil at that. Um, so after some kind of thinking, um, we eventually got it too, but I was going to um, put the water into the bag, or pour the water into the bag. So, let's do that. But it also challenged the thing, what will happen when I pour the water into the bag, what will happen, and what is the pencil for? One of them thought of, I'm going to stab the bag. Exactly. Okay, okay so let's, um, now in the present tense, what am I doing? I'm pouring the water into the bag. Now you are pouring the water into the bag. Okay. okay so a half full. So. Let's put some more water in. Oh, that should do it. Okay, so now we have um, from a jug of water to a bag of water. I'm just going to seal the top of this zip bag. Okay, so now we have a bag of water. Just set there on a goldfish in there. And it looks like that's something you get from the festival. Okay, and now I'm going to attempt to push this pencil through the bag without the water coming out. Uh, wish me luck. Here we go. Push it in. Okay, here we go. Out the other side, are we? I think we are. Okay. And there you have it. As you can see, there is no water leaking from the bag. Okay, at this point, I then asked the students um, what happened? So, past tense. And I said that you, you pushed, or you stabbed the bag with the water, pushed through the bag, and the pencil came out the other side. Uh, but surprisingly, no water escaped. Okay, so what? I'm just going to rest. <laughs> I hope we're going to rest there. I might need a longer pencil, that's going to pull through, I think I've been a little bit too much. I'll leave it there. Okay, I might have to hold it. Uh, okay. have, well, what were the dictionaries for? Um, I then challenged them uh, to the whys. Why does the water not come out? Why? What's going on then? And of course, the science behind this is the bag is actually made of polythene. Um, with the word poly, 
of course, meaning many um, and most plastics uh, have a poly in them somewhere, and many, many strands of plastic, but open a small hole, allow the pencil in, and immediately close around the pencil, uh, in this case, giving us an almost watertight seal. And, but of course, the word poly is also used in other uh, words in the English language uh, to mean many. So I challenge them to then look in the dictionaries to find how many poly words uh, they could then discover. And some of the words we discovered were uh, polygon, a shape of many sides, they're polygons. Um, we also had a polymath, uh, someone who's extremely uh, clever in various fields. Polyphene, as in the material. Um, we also had a polyped, uh, something with many legs. Um, and polymer, again, from the worlds of plastics and materials. And I think the game Monopoly also came up on a business term, and the uh, popular board game Monopoly. Okay, so there you have it. How to push a pencil through a bag of water without spilling a drop. Okay, the challenge for you uh, is to try that. No, maybe don't try that at home. We'll have angry mothers. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye.